a double. But two females, you can't keep the females, but the bait is still actually in good shape. Yes. Get in there. Okay, you gotta get the legs in. Oh, he's trying to get out? Get in the legs. <laughs> Bobby, take a small pot to get his legs in there. Sorry about that. Oh, hey guys, welcome to another uh, episode of Back Fishing. It is the day before Thanksgiving. I am at the coast and we're going to go crabbing. Hey guys, all right, we are at the spot now. The wind has kind of changed up a little bit. <laughs> it's actually blowing and it's very cold. All right, there's a guy right there who's throwing uh, his crab pots on a boat. It's kind of windy out here. Changed a little bit. It's uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow. Hope to put some crabs on the table. All right, guys, just in case you don't, you didn't know how uh, this works, but this is a crab cage or a crab snare, I'm sorry. And um, we have six loops, two in the rear, two in the front, and I got a leader line right here. So what happens is, is that when you have bait in the middle here or in the cage, like this one that I've got set up right here, so the crab crawls, feeds on the, the bait, and their legs get stuck, once you pull it, that's what happens. It gets lassoed, just like that. So that's how the crab snare works, okay? Let's bait the, uh, the one that is empty, and then we can start snaring. All right, here he goes. I have some kind of like a special concoction here that I marinate. I'll put these wings right here. Sometimes I'll use shad. And then I add a little bit of squid in the cage as well. Just kind of uh, like that. So I got the wings in here. So just gonna stuff it in there. Nice and tight. Semi frozen right now. And then close the door and put on the latch. I have to, uh, my fingers are a little bit cold, so I gotta use these uh, needle nose. There you go. Okay, it's shut. Looks like that. Nice and juicy. Alright, let's get it out there. Alright guys, I'm ready to set, set this up. Just have a swivel, okay? And I'm just gonna attach this to the leader, like so. And I have an 8,000 reel right here, because we're uh, throwing heavy heavy weight it's like about 10 ounces to 12 ounces and what I want to do guys is I want to make sure I tighten this drag okay and if you're not confident okay because you're working with uh, braid um, when you're casting make sure that drag is not on because if that weight slips kind of like the drag goes off while you're casting you're gonna cut up your finger okay so you either wear a little um, band on the tip of your casting finger or make sure you tighten that, tighten that uh, drag down, okay? Let's go um, toss this out there.
Alright guys, the uh, conditions today was supposed to be mild, like 5 miles an hour in the wind, but I think it's coming from a different direction. Um, I think it's coming from the north, looks like, uh, and it's kind of throwing this balance off. Anyways, it's about uh, 7 minutes, 8 minutes. I'm going to see if um, we have a little bit of a, a drag on the, or a heaviness on the pole, like when I, when I pull it. Let's go check it out. Otherwise, I'm going to keep it there. Somehow they stole the squid. It's just the uh, the wing. All right, let's just toss it out there. See if uh, we can get anything with this. Alright, nothing on that one again. Just gotta keep on trying. It's not in the right spot maybe, I don't know. Alright, let's wait another 10 minutes. Alright guys, I just pulled this one up. Looks pretty good size. Nice clean looking crab. Alright. Definitely a keeper right here. Right there. Over five and three quarters. It's a male. Yep. Pretty good size. That's the first keeper. Alright. Nice clean crab. Nice and white looking too. Alright guys, I'm going to go uh, check this pole out. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to tug it just a little to see if there's any kind of weight on it. If there's weight on it, that means there is a crab sitting on that on that um, snare. So and I'll just pull it. But if I don't, I'm just going to leave it in there. Let's let's go check.
all white. Holy crap. Alright, let's give this guy a measure. Wow. Pretty. All right, you want to try to keep them, you want to hold them in the hind legs right here. It's a little safer. All right, let's measure this guy. Right in the back. This long piece right here, this part right here, should uh, be the one to go against the first, the first point like that, okay? And this guy is well over five and three quarters, as you can see, right there. Good size one. It is, let's see, to be exact, it is six and almost six and a quarter. Just short, short of six and a quarter. It's a really good size crab, beautiful looking crab. All right, number two. Okay, don't, don't fight guys, just relax. Don't fight, just relax. Guys, relax. Yeah, feisty little critters. All right, so cast these out there again. Want to get rid of all the uh, little uh, weeds on there. So. Here's how it looks like close up, the bait. So it's been there soaking for a while and the crabs haven't really gotten to it. You know, like they picked at it a little bit, but it's holding up pretty good as opposed to, you know, the shad that I use sometimes. All right, let's cast it out. Guys, notice me when I cast, okay? When the water goes out, okay? When it recedes, that's when I cast it so that I can cast as far as I could or get to the point where it's the farthest at the end of my uh, cast, okay? So I wait for the uh, waves to recede and, and the water to go back out, then I'll cast, okay? Nothing on that smaller pole yet. All right. All right, keep on trying.
Hey, finally on the blue snare. I don't think this is a keeper though. We'll have the measure. All right, at least that was one with the squid. All right. That was with the squid. It's kind of small, I think. Let's see. Drum roll, please. Just short. Right there. Just short. Just short. All right. So far, two crabs in the last hour. Um, a lot of just smaller sizes. You know, I probably bought maybe four in the last hour, but none of them are keepers. All right, I got a crab. Just walking it back easier. But a small one. It is a small one. Ooh, almost got me. I got a double. But two females, can't keep the females, but the bait is still actually in good shape. All right, I'm gonna toss these guys. All right, boys, it's getting late now. I got the new bait in this cast, so hopefully we attract some crabs. Let's go check it out right now. Looks like I got a passenger. Oh yeah. It's gonna be right off the top there. Woo! You beat! I think it works. All right, I think the scent of the new bait works. Just got him on his uh, little pinky over here. All righty. Measure off real quick. All right, here we go. Right there, right there, oh yeah. Plenty of space. Almost six and a quarter. <laughs> All right, guys, I got three in a bucket. Guys, thank you for joining me in this um, episode of back fishing, crab snaring along the uh, the shoreline here. It's kind of nice, you know, you're out by yourself, uh, out in the open, just enjoying nature. It's a breath of fresh air. Anyways, guys, if you like this content, please uh, help me out and subscribe and click that uh, subscribe button. Helps out the channel. 
and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Laters! Here it is guys, here's my catch. Beautiful crabs. Yeah, ready for Thanksgiving. Hey guys. Get in there. Okay, you gotta get the legs in. Oh, he's trying to get out? Get in the legs. <laughs> Bobby, take a small tong to get his legs right. in there. Sorry about that. Oh, he's going to take it out? Yeah. Not anymore. Here we go. Now he's done. Okay, next one. Is you going to get one on top of it? Okay. Should be. Come on, let loose. I know. Oh, I'm going to pinch you, mate. This is the expert They're not going to pinch me. Expert. Ready? Okay, make sure they... Watch the legs. The legs. Get in there. Sorry, baby. Jeez Louise. There you go. See, it, Done. Done. It takes a mother to do this. <laughs> no, it's not. I won't say I'm a real mother. It's a mother. Get, get in there. Get in there. Eggs and all. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. There you go. That's how to do it. Oh, yeah. Done. Yep. Done. That's how to do it. 15 minutes. It is going to be done.